How's it going YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse. Um, not ready for Booster Box Wednesday just yet, especially given that there's a new set coming out that I will have in hand at this time next week. So I don't want to get too far ahead of myself starting up a program that's not going to see another episode for two or three weeks. So today I've got a treat for you. We're going to be opening the Rock Rough Full Power Deck. Uh, this is part of a trade that I made with my bud Elliot. Uh, really appreciate you uh, getting this into my hands because I never really uh, pursued it, but when presented with the opportunity to open it for the channel and add these cards to my collection, it's really hard to pass it up. Uh, so we're going to show off what is inside of here. Uh, let's see where there's an opening for this or if it's. Ah, oh, that's reasonably sealed. I think this was like a Koro Koro thing that happened. I think that's how this was released. Uh, but it's definitely done over pretty fancily. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Yep, that's pretty awesome. I like these. Uh, you can kind of like pop them out and use them. Uh, but I kind of like them, you know, sealed up the way that they are. So, uh, here you go. Told you there was a new GX card inside. It's Lycanroc GX on the right hand side. You know what, we're gonna start with that. We're gonna start with that so I can show that thing off first. Come on. There we go. Get all that plastic wrap out of here. So, yes. Lycanroc GX. What power right there. So, uh, first attack is Crunch. Crunch does 30, and you discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. That second attack right there, two fighting and a colorless for 120, is Acelarock. And Lycan Fang GX, with the same energy requirements, does 200. However, you do have to discard two energy attached to this Pokemon. I'm not in it for its playability, I'm in it for its awesomeness, and that cannot possibly be denied. What a cool looking card. Now you can see right in the bottom there, it does have a separate set symbol and numbering. The Pokemon here in this deck have the numbering 1 through 13, as you can see right there. There we go. And this being number 9. But the trainers are numbered in a very interesting way, and you'll see why in a moment. So for the other Pokemon featured in this deck, we've got a couple of Litten. Uh, this is Turtonator, who I've not seen in the TCG yet, so that's its first card. We've got Carvana right here. A Sharpedo, and with Sharpedo generally being featured as a Dark type, it's nice to see it as a Water type. Uh, here we've got Marini. There's Machop. This is, holy crap, is that Zygarde? Yeah, that's pretty awesome. In case you weren't sure, if you uh, can't tell with some of the inventive artworks that they have, and you actually see the Pokedex number right there, it says 718, so uh, there's nothing else that's going to be that high on the field that's not going to be a 7th gen, so it's got to be Zygarde. Uh, so here is Rockruff right there, that's pretty cute looking, I gotta say. Get a few of those, there's a Rayquaza, yep, just a regular old non hollow Rayquaza included in here. Here's Pikapek, Stuffle right there. And beware. So now you've got your garden variety trainers, but you're going to see the numbering in the bottom is different. This is actually numbered 37 out of 59. So we're going to be showing off some differences here. So this potion is from the same Decidueye and Incineroar and Primarina decks, but the Crushing Hammer here is numbered from the original set. It's got the Uncommon logo on there, it's out of 60, so that is another reason why I had to buy an individual Crushing Hammer to match with the set, because if I pulled one over from this deck or from the, from the regular Sun and Moon expansions, it wouldn't have matched with the completeness of the set. So they do stuff like this, and now we're back to the numbering out of 59 with the Great Ball. And there's the Ultra Ball, 44 out of 59. So here we've got a switch, and again, we're going back. 56 out of 60, uncommon. And there's a catcher. The, actually, that one does have the 47 out of 59, so I probably didn't need to buy that other one. But hey, I was already paying for shipping, so the price was reasonable. Kind of mind-boggling that they would do something like that. And there's another catcher right there with the same numbering. 
I'm going to skip looking at the numbering. We're just going to show the cards from here on out. You get the gist. We've got Pokeball. We've got Elima, Professor Kukui. And there's How. And the rest is going to be energy. We've got Fire Energies, Water Energies, and Fighting Energies to close it out. Of course, the main attraction of the Rock Rock Full Power Deck being this Lycan Rock GX. I want to show it one more time. I also want to take this time to thank you guys for checking out the video. Your support means the world to me. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and be back tomorrow for more content.